so uh the goal here uh, was for my weekend project was to figure out if there can be some kind of a framework uh, uh, an algorithm a methodology that you can go through to minimize bias in the content that a content writer is trying to create on a particular day for a specific topic and uh, it so happened incidentally that uh, you know there was a big event in the world the assassination attempt on donald trump as unfortunate as it was uh, it has given me in this mini project a case study that is very useful in many ways because this is an ideal case study that is going to spark all kinds of opinions passion uh, emotions and that's exactly the kind of things that go uh, it becomes difficult for a person researching to write something and especially if you've got this agenda of doing meeting these two check boxes that is one ensuring accuracy as much as possible with minimum bias and also at the same time maximizing the 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 traction potential for your piece of content so for this experiment with, with the content that we're trying to create is the topic is obviously the assassination attempt on on, on Donald Trump the end content is a write up a simple blog uh, article author article you could say uh and it is coming from a news platform so you can say an author article is what we're trying to write for and we're right we're trying to write an author article for a respectable uh person and it's going to be like 1000 word 800 word it has to be meaty uh, so the research has to be there and a person like that can't afford to be uh wrong in anything that he says or just so we got to be careful in that respect and, and at the same time people who are reading it have to see feel that there is getting some kind of a value because this person they're reading this person's article you know he's a so and so big shot uh, so his article has got to give me some kind of a value right some kind of a fun at least or entertaining at least got to be a good writer it can be anything something additional has to be there in this in this content so how do we as content writers who are writing as ghost writers for uh these people how do we try to create a kind of a uh, an article that is as close to the truth as possible so you don't have so so we hypothet in this situation we're going to assume that this media house that we're representing is relatively small and we don't have that many connections and influence or anything so if if we say something that triggers someone uh we might get into trouble so we want to avoid doing anything like that so it's a little bit of a tough job but uh, at the end of the day pressure is less because it's a small company so what's the worst that could happen so i hope that was a fictional scenario that was enough for us to get started on this task of ours is to uh, write an author article about 800 words for a economic times type platform type uh, platform and uh, we at uh, the timeline is tonight or worst case early tomorrow morning so that like the early morning newspaper readers can get something uh, get something valuable from this article that we're trying to write all right and so uh, the reason we're doing this is because this gives us an opportunity to put the framework that i spent all day today uh, crafting on an excel document uh, i'll i'll show you guys the article first yeah either tonight or tomorrow and then maybe like this weekend saturday uh, we could go over this framework that i used i enjoy creating templates and frameworks it keeps me happy so i created this framework that could be completely useless i don't know uh, so that is and that is the purpose right i'm trying to try like the things that i try to innovate with approaches and templates for content and content strategy uh i now like previously i should just try i should create and i should try to do it at like my job work requirement or something uh and that sometimes paid off sometimes didn't so now you know that's going to be a separate thing like the, the thing that the things that i do in my life for a living that is going to be separate but 
in amplification to that as a side project with no pressure i am going to try and you know uh, put my innovations to the test by actually creating and then publishing and then hopefully get somebody to say something you know that's like how scientists publish their uh, their findings and they 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 put it up for criticism that, that that's the beauty of science that's why we rely on it so much so that's what i'm trying to do so this this framework that i'm creating or i have created today and i'm going to test tonight and uh, give you a result the output of this machinery by tomorrow morning in the form of an article that gives you a complete picture of uh, the Donald Trump assassination uh he uh, what, are, what what were the things that led up to it uh, why what were the possible reasons this could have happened uh, what are the different uh voices of power saying about this and the most important thing that i'm going to try to cover is all the possibilities of what could happen in future as accurately as possible and that's the hard part right. so people want to know what is going to happen to the stock market people want to know you know tomorrow today is sunday uh, so we don't know tomorrow it's going to be interesting what how the markets open how the markets across the world react there's going to be some kind of a chain reaction america us is uh, shown to be vulnerable vulnerable at this point so so it's going to be interesting uh interesting and i don't want to say exciting and use those kinds of words because it's a dark scenario it's a dark world but uh, it's going to be it's going to give us this week and how this whole donald trump and american political scenario plays out is going to give us as scientists of content uh enough like data and fodder to like experiment and and see and the experiment that i am going for this week is see if we can you know have a reliable framework like newton's laws for uh uh making content that's as accurate as possible while simultaneously as uh enjoyable as possible and we're trying to prove that it's not contradicting facts